Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the call out. This is Richie. Today, I'm talking about Rotang moving over to the MMA world. He said once he's done with a flyweight Muay Thai tournament, he's gonna fully transition into the MMA world. Holy crap, it's happening! Rod Rodrigo and I have talked about this about Rotang moving over to MMA. Give him about five years. By the time he's 30, I mean, Rodrigo said it on the channel before, he's going to be a serious threat once you give him the time to develop his ground game and integrate it into his Muay Thai skills. The dude will be a serious threat. I want to talk about some potential matchups in the 1FC that he can start off with and even have a little bit of fun and talk about some matchups in the UFC that would bring absolute entertainment and fire. Let's start off in the 1FC with Reese McLaren. This will be a great fight because Reese is a gamer, brings the heat, he's not afraid. He's going to stand in there, he's going to trade with Ron Tang. I think that'll be a very entertaining matchup. Um, good good competitiveness because of the ground game advantage that he'll probably have. Next is going to be Yua Wakamatsu from Japan. This dude is very aggressive, just like Rod Tang. So two aggressive guys going at it like dogs. What more can fight fans want? This is going to be very entertaining. It's going to be back and forth. This will probably be the toughest matchup for him. Uh, I don't know if I would start off with this right away, but this would be a very competitive bout between him and and um Ratang. so Ratang and and yua but that is a good one and of course the dj fight i would love to see the dj fight in one fc uh, i don't want to see that right away like i said i would love to see reese mclaren go at it with Ratang, or maybe yua or maybe even someone else that isn't ranked but um i like those three guys from one fc the most i just think they're gonna be the most entertaining uh we want to see Ratang kind of jump in that fire anyways and this fire isn't a roaring fire but it is still competitive enough to make it fun um the dj rematch i really want to see that again i just i want to wait until rod tang is developed because um yeah i want to see what he can do with just a little bit more time training on the ground but let's go ahead and get into the ufc matchups now okay i want to start off with my boy victor henry I had the pleasure of interviewing him on the show with Rob. We interviewed him. It was a great time. And hearing his analysis on the DJ versus Ratang fight that took place, DJ beating him in the second round, which was the MMA rules, after hearing his analysis and kind of hearing his mindset, it's clear to me that with all that time that Victor Henry spent in Japan and just all around the world, uh, just fighting other fighters from all around the world in different organizations, I think he knows something that we might not know. And I think Victor might have uh, the recipe to beat Rod Tang or to at least be competitive with him. Um, so that would be an excellent fight in the UFC. Two fighters also, Cody Stamen and Casey Kennedy. Those will be more tests because they're really good wrestlers. And if Rod Tang can beat those guys first, I think a lot of people will uh, gain more confidence about Rod Tang's ground game abilities. Uh, now, Piotr Jan is a huge one. I think that one will be sick. I always talk about that because he's v uh, he's just a killer, man. Piotr Jan likes to go for it. He reminds me of Rod Tang. I think these will be kind of uh, two equals going at it. You're not going to see any traditional wrestling, no blast doubles, none of that. But you're going to see a lot of sweeps, a lot of clinches, a lot of trips. And of course, a lot of knees. Uh, that fight would be insane. Another one that actually kind of took over for me on the top was Corey Sanhagen. I find that fight to be so interesting and so entertaining. I could talk about that for maybe a whole five, whole 10 minutes, whole 30 minutes. I'll have to say that for another video. But Corey Sanhagen versus Rod Tang is absolute just epic. I think Corey stands up with him. I don't think he tries to wrestle him much, but I can totally see. Corey going toe for toe in the Muay Thai with him. Uh, the dude's a killer. He's a savage. He's not afraid. He's a gamer. He'll stand in there with anybody. He doesn't care, which is what Rod Tang likes. All right. Well, thank you for watching another episode of The Call Out. As always, this is Richie signing off. I will see you on the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe so you guys can be the first to know about our weekly content.